Yes, yeah, so following from the, the tragic incident on the high street in Briley Hill, where unfortunately a, a man lost his life, we've launched a fast-paced investigation. We've had a number of really good witnesses come forward and we've received excellent support from the communities and businesses of Briley Hill. Um, I'm unable to say exactly where that investigation is for operational reasons, but I can tell you that I'm in and have been in daily contact with a senior investigating officer and uh, it's, um, it's a very positive inquiry. The three incidents that you relate to in Coesley, in Sedgley and in Briley Hill are not connected to each other in, in any way whatsoever. Indeed, our, our belief very firmly around all three of them separately is that the people involved knew each other before the incident took place. In the, in the first two, arrests have been made and there's nobody left to arrest and those are currently continuing to be investigated. And around the second one, as I say, it's a very positive inquiry. The, um, so no connection between them all. In terms of is there a trend, then no. The amount of night crime in Dudley, if it's anything more than one, is a concern to me. But in terms of overall levels compared to our region and other areas of the country that are very similar to ours, that you can kind of benchmark us against, actually Dudley's one of the safer places to be. So these three incidents are awful and they've received a great deal of uh, policing and partnership attention as a result and we, we can say that they're not connected and it's not part of a trend. Do you think more should be done to police the area? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. definitely. Why definitely. is that? Well, off the cameras. I mean, there's meant to be cameras all the way up the street and um, obviously nothing's been done because the cameras weren't working that night and they haven't found the person that killed that chap. So, you know, someone's got to be done with it.